Okay, we're rolling. And so is that concrete mixer. <laughs> well, I'm feeling better in the most important way, which is my gut. Just dropped a rock solid deuce, one wipe. It took me eight days to recover from the inflammation and the incontinence that was caused by eating all those na all that nasty, delicious food made with all those nasty, stinking uh, vegetable oils. And it's, it's so incredible. It's, in just eight days, because I, I got at a point to where I actually had to wear like size 46 waist when sitting down it was that's how bad my gut was inflamed today my size 42s fit me just fine and it's just so disgusting it's it's kind of paralytic in a way it's right now i've located several items at walmart that are fine i've been primarily eating a diet of stewed beef not beef stew Stewed beef, just salt, water, beef in a can. Uh, been eating some of that uh, artificial crab meat, even though it's got it's made with nasty wheat flour as a binder instead of potato starch. Anybody who knows the business knows that you use potato starch. I have no idea why they're doing that. It's just because I guess wheat is a, you know a fraction of a penny cheaper per package, a fraction of a penny. They're willing to turn a delicious product into a product that tastes, you know, needs to be mixed with some other stuff to make it taste good. So it's mostly just been beef, cheese, because cheese takes care of laxity of the gut. My mother always warned me that cheese will plug you up. You damn right it will. It's I'll be eating cheese actually, uh, especially since Walmart has a variety of string mozzarella tree cheese that you can keep unrefrigerated for 10 days the little short sticks that's they don't grow any microbes on them they get a little bit more tart stuff they're actually delicious and bananas uh, i've been eating some cherry jellies but it actually just as i began this just as i was beginning the clean out a, a friend of mine gave me a, a bag of at three small bottles of water in it and I think actually it was like three or four of the Cheeto Krispies and I'm going like I'm starving to death I don't you know I'm not ready to go to Walmart yet and I said you know let me just taste it and you know what I tried one of those little one ounce bags of Cheeto crisps and despite all the cheesy flavor and flakes and all the salt the ton of salt that's on that crap Nothing wrong with sodium chloride. That's fine. Table salt is fine. You need that. If you know if your body can't handle it, then you have a genetic problem. <clears throat> and you know what? I could taste the nasty, like corn canola. It just tasted terrible. I have a. I've told you people before, over and over again. I have a very acute sense of smell and taste. I'm 70 years old, and I can smell and taste better than most of you young people. Uh, a lot of it's probably just genetics and stuff. It's Plus, I do know how to douche my nose. I promise you I'd make a video about that sometime. I don't know how I'll get around to it. But so far, I'm... Anyway, kind of a little update for those of you who are, because I just noticed I picked up another subscriber. They come and go. Uh, you know, I've gained and lost about four or five of them in this process. Don't really care. Like I said before, these are these things are here to record my memories of my life. And it's more of a, a journal than some attempt to entertain you. But... A little while ago, a lady came up here and I apparently get on her nerves really bad because I have a complicated life and I don't think she really wants to hear even the briefest explanation of all the things that I react to and the things that I can't do. 
and the, all the substances I can't tolerate. The reason I'm still alive is because I'm not in, under anybody's control. I'm not forced to eat anything that I don't, and well, unfortunately I have been financially forced to eat crap that ended up, I've lost several sets of clothes due to incontinence. I mean, just the stuff, just my gut inflaming and me completely unable. That's actually the standard reaction to all them GMO oils and all that stuff is it just, it's you've become incontinent from stem to stern. But uh, I really didn't want to discuss with the lady that, because she was asking me all kind of prying questions and she wants short, snappy answers, which are impossible. You, I'm a complicated person. Uh, I'm, we are all biologically uh, individual, at least some of us are. Some of y'all are just so... The modern human, as I've spoken about before, is, has devolved to the point to where y'all can handle toxins that I can't possibly, you know, I don't even know how most of you are even breathing at all with all the chemicals, the fragrances, especially, mostly the fragrances you use inside your house and stuff. You even, oh God, please, Scentsy, oh geez, all these other, all the perfumes and colognes and yada, yada, blah, blah. But in case she's all, because I noticed I suddenly picked up a subscriber. Right after she was here. And please, I don't know if, I, you know, I told her I really don't need to talk to her for a week or there's no need for I've got clothing. I've stocked up on food the other day. It was working pretty good, except, uh, well, I guess people are taking me at my word as they've completely left me alone now for about three days. It's really, she's actually the first person in three days to stop and talk to me. People just have been leaving me alone. The cash donations ended about a week ago. I think I've gotten uh, about $22 in the last, uh, after the... Uh, Actually, the gift card only had about $30 on it. I don't know whether that was intentional or not. I did note the dates that there was two $30 withdrawals apparently on the same day it was given to me. So I can't read a lady's mind. She may have been just trying to give me what remained in that card. She just didn't write on it or tell me how much was in there, which was kind of embarrassing to me at Walmart when I went to buy 70 something dollars worth of clothing and food items. <laughs> so my point is, is that I have a meet and greet with a surgeon on Friday. He's one part of a surgical team. And I'm trying to let this particular lady know, Melissa, if you get this, that I don't know how much further we need to go with our conversations. It's, as long as the weather's pretty good, because honestly, if they can't fix my arm within the, about the next month or so, the chances of me surviving this next winter perhaps about uh, it's less than 50-50 at best. 50-50 would be good odds for me. But if I don't recover use of my dominant arm, the chances of surviving a winter, especially if it's a winter like the, my first winter living on the streets of Austin, it's not going to be possible. It's just not good. And the things that we're, I want to finish with this here under 10 minutes, the things that we were talking about, Melissa, like clothing items and stuff like that, I can only wear like a hand knit or a cotton line. I can only wear cotton or leather on my head. I cannot tolerate synthetics. Especially in anything too tight, no, ain't that. I have all sorts of of restrictions and requirements that I really have to tend to. I've been the one that's solely taking care of that now for over two years of living in the streets. And just like you see in my previous videos, when you just dump a bunch of like acrylic crap that will, will only fit like a five-year-old girl, you know, in my lap, it's going to end up in the dumpster behind me. 
or you give me food in case that I has to requires cooking, stuff like that, it just goes in the dumpster behind me. And every time you do that, you make me carry a load and then you make me hate you. You get it? You make me work. When you make me have to sift through that stuff and decide that I'm going to take something that might be valuable to somebody else that I don't have days, weeks, or months to store it and hunt somebody down to give it to, that I have to go and throw it in the trash for it to go to the landfill, you make me angry at you. Simple as that. Well, I'm kind of glad, actually, Starbucks business the other day fell off to 1% of what it was on, say, June 15th, 16th, day of the last couple of weeks of June. There's been almost nobody around here, and I guess all I'll end up with here is that, please, I've been enjoying the fact that people are not coming up to me and interrogating me, you know, every few minutes. I really appreciate the fact that y'all are leaving me alone. Y'all don't really know me. I've spent most of my adult life alone on top of a hill, reading books, watching the birds and animals, examining insects under a microscope. So that's pretty much it. Wish me luck. And uh, if you're the praying type, please pray that they're able to re reconstruct my shoulder because otherwise my chances for next winter weren't looking too good, buddy. You know, without two arms, it probably ain't gonna happen. <laughs>